SpaceX has made a shocking change to the Starship's construction process that could make it the strongest rocket ever constructed. The company has implemented a revolutionary new welding process that could change the industry forever. Let's talk about what makes this process so unique and how it makes the Starship one of the most reliable. The captivating and elegant sight of the towering Starship taking off with brilliance in April left numerous fans utterly mesmerized. It wasn't solely the immense power of the Starship that captured attention, but also its stunning exterior that earned immense acclaim. Starship resembled a majestic blue whale with its sleek and gleaming skin, leaving no hint of its earlier state. However, if you've been tracking Starship's journey from the outset, you'd recall that the initial Starship prototypes were notably rugged and lacked refinement. During the initial phases of the Starship project, SpaceX conceived a spacecraft crafted from lightweight carbon fiber. The potential of utilizing carbon fiber, known for its remarkable strength to weight ratio, seemed to usher in a promising era for the Starship. However, as the project underwent extensive research, a wave of change influenced SpaceX's direction. Despite carbon fiber's advantageous lightweight property, a significant drawback emerged. It began to deteriorate around 200 degrees Celsius. Consequently, it would require an exceptionally thick heat shield to withstand the extreme temperatures of up to 1600 degrees experienced during multiple re-entries. This realization led to a pivotal decision that reshaped the project's trajectory. SpaceX chose to adopt stainless steel, an economical material that costs just $3 per kilogram, a stark contrast to carbon fiber staggering price of $150 per kilogram. Although stainless steel is heavier, it offers superior durability with the capacity to endure three times the heat resistance compared to carbon. Additionally, the manufacturing process for composite carbon materials demands intricate layering of fibers to achieve multi-directional strength, followed by treatment in highly pressurized ovens. Considering the size of Starship's nine meter segments, creating an oven large enough for the composite carbon approach would necessitate a size beyond anything currently available on Earth. This is where the advantages of stainless steel come to the forefront. It can be rapidly joined using straightforward and cost-effective methods. Hence, SpaceX set out on the path to construct the world's most advanced rocket using stainless steel as the primary material. However, there was an unexpected outcome. Stainless steel didn't exhibit the same level of shininess. This was due to the exceptional heat retention characteristics of stainless steel, which presented a notable challenge during the welding process. Welding stands as a pivotal step in crafting a space vehicle. Yet, welding stainless steel demands an elevated level of expertise and precision, serving as a demanding test of skill even for the most seasoned welders. Furthermore, the inherent quality of stainless steel, which doesn't rebound after deformation, allows no room for imperfections. This eliminates any margin for error or subpar workmanship. Initially, the welding process for Starship proved to be a challenge for SpaceX given their limited experience in this specific type of welding. The initial versions of the Starship employed a welding technique known as flux core. This method involves passing an electric current through a wire to create a spark between the wire and the metal. This spark melts the wire and metal together, 
effectively filling gaps or imperfections. In this process, the wire is coated with a material that burns to release a protective gas. This gas serves as a shield, preventing the weld from being exposed to oxygen in the air, which could lead to rust formation. While this method functions well in controlled settings, SpaceX encounter challenges due to their work environment being a large tent instead of a proper factory. Many of the welds were executed by less experienced workers outdoors, resulting in suboptimal outcomes for the appearance of the Starship. The welds on the initial prototype, known as Mark I, exhibited signs of corrosion, cracks, and rough edges. To enhance their quality, SpaceX employed a process of grinding down the welds until they became smooth and flush with the surface. This step wasn't solely for aesthetic purposes. It contributed to the overall strength of the structure. The presence of sharp edges and small cracks in the welds could have triggered larger problems when the Starship was subjected to pressurization. By grinding down the surface, these issues were eliminated thereby reducing the risk of weld failure. In an ideal scenario, each weld should possess the same strength as the surrounding metal. However, the first Starship test unveiled that this wasn't always the case. The Mark I prototype experienced an explosion due to a failed horizontal weld, which resulted in a bulkhead being propelled away. In response to these challenges, SpaceX implemented improvements for their subsequent prototype, the SN1. They opted for thinner sheets of stainless steel for each ring, which reduced the need for extensive welding. Additionally, they transitioned from using 301 stainless steel to 304L stainless steel, which exhibited greater resistance to corrosion during the welding process. During this phase, they also adopted tip-tig welding, a technique that provided enhanced control over the welding pool. This advancement allowed the welders to refine their work, enabling them to penetrate the metal more deeply with fewer individual welds required to join the spacecraft's components. Consequently, the risk of failure was significantly reduced. This combination of changes resulted in welds that exhibited a higher level of precision and meticulousness, qualities that came to define the construction of the Starship. Furthermore, SpaceX took a substantial step by acquiring robotic welding machines similar to those found in Tesla's manufacturing facilities. This strategic move enabled SpaceX to automate a considerable portion of the welding process, yielding welds that were cleaner and more precise. Additionally, they introduced additional support structures within the Starship's body to counteract the potential for the metal to warp under its own weight. Next in the sequence of astounding welding techniques is one that significantly contributes to the remarkable appearance of the Starship. This involves the utilization of an automated welding robot that incorporates an enhanced friction stir welding control system. This upgraded version, developed by the Welding Institute Limited in the 1990s, serves as a defining element that sets the Starship apart from other rockets that have been produced throughout history. At its core, Friction Stir Welding, or FSW, employs a novel approach to joining metals distinct from the conventional melting process. Instead, it leverages a rotating tool with a specially designed profile that is driven into the edges of the metal pieces intended for welding. The friction generated by the rotation of the tool generates heat, which, in turn, 
softens the metal without causing it to fully liquefy. As the tool advances along the joint, it skillfully fuses the metal, resulting in a seamless and remarkably robust bond. This technique not only eliminates the risks tied to molten metal, but also delivers an exceptional level of precision and structural reliability. The advantages of friction stir welding extend far beyond its inventive approach. The mechanical properties of FSW joints outperform those achieved through conventional welding methods. The absence of melting and solidification guarantees that FSW welds are free from flaws, typically linked to cooling and solidifying procedures. This results in heightened fatigue strength, remarkable tensile strength, and an overall improvement in durability. Moreover, FSW generates minimal waste, making it an environmentally conscious choice while simultaneously enhancing the visual appeal of the welded surface. However, SpaceX's innovation journey didn't halt there. The evolution continued as SpaceX embraced laser welding for many sections of the Starship. Laser welding's focused heat delves deeper into the metal, enabling entire ring segments to be welded in a single pass. To enhance the strength of the welds even further, an additional crucial step was taken. This aligns with a shift in the approach to constructing the Starship. Instead of the intricate process involving smaller, rectangular steel panels meticulously welded to craft rings, as seen in the original prototypes, SpaceX opted for a more direct method. They started using complete coils of steel. These coils were strategically positioned on specialized supports, resulting in a flawless circular diameter of nine meters. These rings then underwent a process known as cold rolling. This technique entails pressing the metal through rollers to compress and elongate its grains, thereby increasing its strength. Following the skillful rolling and cutting of the coiled wires, the steel enters the final phase of transformation. This stage seamlessly brings individual steel segments together resulting in a continuous and robust ring. However, during the welding process, the localized heat softens the metal in that specific area. To counter this challenge, SpaceX introduced a sizable planishing machine. Planishing involves skillfully hammering down the welds until they attain the same level of hardness as the adjoining metal. This strategic step not only amplified the strength of the welds, but also elevated their overall appearance. Following this, the steel rings, often referred to as rings by SpaceX, are lifted onto a specialized fixture, meticulously stacked together, and then seamlessly welded. This innovative approach delivers multiple benefits. Not only does it expedite the assembly process, saving valuable time, but it also curtails the number of individual welds required. Consequently, this inventive method creates a more spacious and streamlined production environment for the Starship. The culmination of all the diverse welding techniques SpaceX has harnessed has resulted in a refined and effective process for crafting the Starship. This method has not only showcased remarkable aesthetics, but also proven its exceptional durability, as exemplified during the debut orbital test launch of the craft. It remains to be seen if this durability will persist after the craft has been reused multiple times as intended. What do you think? Is the Starship strong enough to survive multiple atmospheric re-entries? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. In the comments below. In the comments.